Angela Grillo creates delicious pastries in the kitchen. Our ham and cheese croissants. Her manager, Mary Beth Doyle, works a store selling the handmade delights at their bakery in Chivian. When we first purchased this building, everything was fine because we were just doing wedding cakes. Angela started Maribel Cakery and bought the building on Chiviet Avenue 13 years ago. She recently moved her other business, Mon Petit Shoe, from downtown into the same space. We are at the point of complete max. Like if we turn in an, an extra fan or something, it can just push down one side. Angela wants to upgrade her electricity. There's a lot of financial things that we could be doing that are making us more money and we're missing out on those opportunities. And I feel like they need to be held accountable for not responding. We've been working on that process. My understanding is, is that we are uh, waiting for some some information from the, the customer about their own internal wiring to make sure that it's safe to connect that upgraded service to their uh, to their facility. Spokesman Jeff Brooks says Duke wants to resolve things and recently reached out to the customer about upgrade plans. Local 12 was given email exchanges between the customer and Duke, showing the bakery did have their electrician assess the building. This email from Tom at Fry Electric to Duke says, quote, I've attached the estimated loads and service info for the Maribel Cakery project. Another email exchange with a Duke Energy engineer from October says the total cost for adding three phase up to Cheviot Avenue and a three phase service for you will be $15,533.27. Angela wants to know why the bill doesn't come with a cost breakdown. We're more than happy to, to walk through it with the customer, but it's not typically included in the standard bill format because a lot of this equipment is is not something the customer would be familiar with. So this you cannot use Correct. the espresso machine. And then what else? You can't use the electric case. The espresso machine and bakery cases are just some of the equipment that Angela says will blow a fuse if powered on. She just wants to grow her business by having sit down customers for a coffee shop and making bread to sell wholesale. Financially, we're losing at least $10,000 a month right now. Until the power cords can be plugged in, there will be no spark to help her bakery. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.